It is clear now to all that the crisis that started a few years ago is here to stay, and it hangs over most Western European countries like a dark cloud, leaving a trail of devastation to local economies as the devastation left in a cornfield by a locust swarm. The question is, was the U.S. the origin of it all? As many of you may know, the banks, investment companies, and even some of the pension-related funds depend on the ability of investing bodies to create a constant growth of profits. Stability in terms of cash flow was considered almost as an unacceptable situation. Some years ago, the American banks, in order to increase their capital, they started to facilitate loans as never previously. People used the loans mainly to purchase houses, a dream hard to achieve previously and now almost simple due to those high loans. This easy money. The huge demand for houses caused the prices of these to go sky high. Since the prices of houses were far above their real value, this created a bubble, and as we all know, these bubbles' destinies is to burst sooner or later. The crush came when those multitudes that took the loans found themselves unable to return them. Banks found they have a great deficit due to the risky loans they so generously provided, and even foreclosing many houses did not help, because the prices offered now for the houses were considerably lower than what was paid for them initially. To make things worse, the banks were tied to insurance agreements that guarantee them in case of losses due to risky loans. And now, some of the major global insurance companies were dragged into the mess created by the irresponsible loans policy. In the aftermath of this crisis, the direct intervention of the government was needed to save some of the leading banks of America, something that was potentially catastrophic perhaps even worse than the stock market crash from 1929. Since banks are today tied in many ways with other banks, through loans, investments, stock and agreements, it was obvious that a crisis of such magnitude will have some effect outside the US and the ripple will be felt all around the globe. This was what eventually brought the Euro crisis to surface. But the question is, was the American bubble the sole thing responsible for creating the situation, or was it just the trigger to expose the dubious conduct of some European governments during decades?